Hey, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Richard on Life Lofts. I am Richard, and these are my lofts. It's a nice, chilly morning out here today. I think it's 33 degrees. I'm going to get these guys out for a morning fly. They all seem ready, so let me go ahead and get, them up, get it opened up. It's hard to do this with one hand. So let me drop the trap. Those guys are out. I hear a couple of them leaving above me, but I normally just shoo them out the doors. Come on guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Got a couple who just don't want to hang out. Come on, let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now they're all out. <clears throat> There's a lake, guys. Like I said, it's nice and chilly out here, but it's a beautiful day. Got some new box perches put up in preparation of dividing this loft. As you can see on the floor, that is where the dividing is going to be. And then I'm going to take it probably right through here. And this is going to be my 2022 Young Birds for Racing. And then this side is going to be the older birds, which are now my young birds. We'll be old birds next uh, next year. And I'm gonna divide a little lane. You can see it's probably right through there. I'm a, this is gonna be like a little open front so they can all come in. And then I'm gonna have a sliding door going into this side and a sliding door going into that side. So, I can fly them, loft fly them together, or I can, uh, you know, divide them up and do it that way. Uh, I made those boxes just a tad bit sh short or small, but I came out here last night after I put them up and had about 10 birds sitting in them, so I guess they're okay. I think I'm going to make another set to replace this set and make them about an inch taller and inch wider because they are just a little bit you know small for them but that's uh what's going on here let's see if i i normally when they take off they take off they're usually gone for anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and then they come back and then they circle for a while but uh I'm going to scrape out the loft, clean everything up. My uh, faithful companion there is going to help. Well, not really, but he's going to be here with me. So let me get that done, and then I'll show you the, uh, the breeding birds. Over here in the hen section, I got the hens, but as soon as I come in here, they normally always go out into the apiary. But the hens are doing all doing fine. Go ahead, you can go. This is the one that was injured. As you can tell, that eye right there is sunken in. I am pretty sure that it's blind in its uh, left eye. But if I can get it. It's finishing up its molt right now, but it's just over here because it really can't fly with one eye. I don't think it's going to do very well. So I'm just keeping it here. It is now uh, considered a pet because it can't fly and I'm not gonna breed her. So she's just over here with the hens and I don't know what I'm gonna do with her when I put the hens in with the cocks for breeding. 
We'll have to see. But I'm glad she's healing fine. She's, uh, everything's working for her pretty good. She seems to be healthy. And then over here in the cock section, these guys have come through their molts. Most of them are looking really, really good. I got a couple of shaggy ones left. As you can see, I was talking about in the last video, they have all pretty much got their nest boxes that they want. I've been coming in here and figuring out which bird is in which nest box so I can, when I pair them up, and I am gonna to have to block that access off. As you can see that there's a little hole up here and then they go on top of the nest boxes. So I'm gonna to have to block that off. But other than that, the cocks are doing well. I am about to do uh, some cleaning and some scraping. And hopefully I can get some uh, video of the birds flying. I know that's my best part of my day is when the birds are flying. So here we go, uh, number four. That's a breeding band number four. And he is in box three. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. And hopefully I can get a picture of them uh, flying. Back in a few. Well, they finally came back. They've been gone for almost an hour and a half. Where'd they go this time? There they go. So they had a good fly. I normally fly them in the evenings. This is the first time they've been out in the morning in a long time. They might be a little disappointed. They're still not getting fed till tonight. But I'm not sure where they went, but it's a beautiful day. See if I can call them down and get them in. I want to get a video footage of them because I've got two uh, other things to do today. Scared them back up. They've been out for an hour and 45 minutes. Not even panting. Looks like they're not ready to go in. They're just flying back and forth between the lofts. These are they're staying off the house. I guess they're heading in. I'm looking for that little uh, female, that little hen that I'm gonna use for breeding. She might have already went in. She is normally one of the first ones to come in when I call them. Let me get all these guys in. I know if I go into the loft, they're gonna fly back up. 
Oh, I forgot to block the the trap. Oh well, I'm gonna go block that trap and call an end of this video. So, hey, you guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Well over 75% of the people that watch the videos aren't subscribed. So I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and give it a like. And I will see you on the next one.